Today, I'm going to show you how to get a check on Nadabot. And what Nadabot is, it's a civil contract aggregator. And what that means is it's basically a collection of different civil providers or verifiable credentials that have a contract that has a Boolean. Uh, for example, is Lens account or is near account or is Ethereum account or has connected to five dApps or has verified to Twitter that takes in an account ID and then returns true or false. And then basically once you have that stamp that has true or false, you basically verify that you have it on v1.notabot.near, which is a civil contract aggregator. And then uh, the maintainers of this, which are admins and in the future gonna be DAOs, basically set weight to these different stamps and a human threshold of the number of points you need with these collective weights across these stamps to be determined as is human. So in this example, I'm going to show you uh, verifying one check um, and um, basically uh, verifying with a third party on that contract and then coming back to Databot and verifying as a stamp and getting the respective points. And so this is meant for anybody to submit their own simple provider uh, and then for the admins to set a weight and then eventually those weights to add up to basically have enough uh, points to become a human. So it's a two part process. You basically verify with another app, you do whatever you need to, to verify, in this case, fill out your near social profile, you get those, uh, you get that stamp uh, on that contract. On the Notabot app, it checks that method to see if it's like returns true. And then once it returns true, you can add it to the registry. And um, in the future, a uh, certain stamps will expire. Like for example, having an ENS is impermanent. I um, mean, you'll have to re-verify the stamp, uh, but that's kind of the two-step process. Go to external application, verify with that contract, do whatever you got to do, come back, get the points. And then uh, when it comes to the use case of potluck, um, because this is used, this is human check. So not a bot has this is human method. Uh, that basically goes and checks that account ID and every stamp that has registered on this contract adds up the points, looks at the human threshold that the admin set and sees if you qualify for being a human by having enough points with your collective stamps. And so it's a civil contract aggregator. So I'm going to go through that example. And if you go to docs.notabot, um, you can see that. You can go to app.notabot and you can also go to uh, prod.notabot, which they're all the same uh, production. And the first thing you need to do is log in. Um, there's only two stamps available as of now. There's going to be a bunch of stamps here. You're going to log in through this account, v1.notabot.near. And this actually creates a really good use case. So you can add your own check here. We're not going to do that. We're just going to get check. When it says get check, that means it checked the method uh, over here. And it basically said, hey, v1 social check down here has a method called has complete profile check and then you return false so you need to go to this application and get the check this takes you a third-party application this happens to be the boss gateway but it could take you to any website and then you basically connect with that same account because you're verifying that same account and then uh, what you're going to do is complete the actions so here um, you can see that uh, we already had filled out the new social profile, so it automatically popped up. If this were the case, you would have to fill out all these options. And this is because before I already had the complete near social profile, I'm going to confirm it's going to basically allow you to verify. It has a verify method, and based on this method, it's going to manipulate the state on the contract and then the uh the has profile check is going to return true so if i go back here um you can see now that this is updated and it's under pending verification the the button is now from get check to verify which is black and then you can actually see if you view the transaction details you can add a stamp on v1 not about near and it adds the provider which is a civil provider um on here so you can update the state here and then as you've seen before, this is worth 11 points. And so now on the application, you'll have up to 11 points. However, as of right now, the number of points that you need is 20, you can see here. So technically not a human. So in the case of potluck or any maybe NDC voting contract, they'll be checking for, is this person a human? And I won't be able to donate or get a match donation in the case of quadratic funding because I'm not a human yet. I would have to do another uh, check, get extra 19 points, be 10 points over by getting is human 
uh, but there's more to come there. So that is a simple two-step process. First, you know, log in, then check the stamps, then go to an external app, manipulate the state of the stamp by doing whatever verification process, come back to the application, which is a little bit complicated because it doesn't redirect because this is a third-party service, and then go and then update that stamp get the points and repeat with enough stamps till you're is a human and you'll be able to go back to the pot. And if they have not about is human set, then um, you'll be able to do that easily. In another case, um, because every method that needs to be configured with databot follows that passes the account ID and return a Boolean value, um, I, in theory, you could use any one of these stamps without verifying with a databot contract uh, to be that simple provider. You could have just said, hey, we're going to just use that method that has social check, or we're going to just use I am human because they all follow the standardized schema for simple checks. However, what not about allows you to do is um, just depend on this contract as a provider to dynamically adjust to weights and points and human thresholds as uh, the round gets botted. Um, so you may actually see the social check may not be 11 points down the road. You may not be a human anymore because the human requirements may have gone up. You also may be a human uh, when you weren't a human before because they went down and they realized that it was too high of a barrier to entry. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much a simple check. But again, every check will have another application to go to with a different process. So just keep that in mind.